Hi everybody! Take a tour of our Infinity Veranda Balcony Stateroom from aboard the Celebrity Apex, which is an Edge-class ship. Our particular cabin can accommodate up to three guests. It was stateroom number A282, category E2, and located at the midship aft section on the starboard side. This was from our late December 2022 cruise aboard the Celebrity Apex, sailing a six-night Western Caribbean cruise out of Fort Lauderdale. We'll also give our review of the stateroom and what the pros and cons were later on. So come on in and take a look. Seems like uh, can't really tilt the TV.
Can you help him out? He's trying. Oh. Oh, there you go. Whoa. I like it. It's like, that's yeah, so cool. It's the new style balcony. <laughs> yeah. Very interesting. Oh, I like it a lot. So that even like, let's say you go to like a, a cool area, you can just chill. Yeah. You can just sit here and enjoy the ocean view. You have a very clear view at like the bottom the too. Look at that. Normally a, a regular balcony, the bottom part is like leave. blocked. Oh, it's nice. It's very nice. Too. So it's like indoors and also outdoors. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> of the mandatory guest safety briefing. It is a simple and convenient process, and you're kindly requested to physically check in at your assigned safety assembly station, which is already open. Now we'll go through some of the pros and cons of this edge class stateroom with the unique enclosed balcony area. First thing we like was how this smart design made the cabin feel extra spacious, especially at night when the balcony area becomes an indoor space. We also like that it wasn't necessary to insert our key card to keep the lights on or the AC on inside. It was also nice that the chair for the desk can be pulled out fully without touching the third passenger sofa bed. The slow closed cabinets and drawers were a nice touch, but here is one con. The main cabinet and the bathroom door do slam loudly no matter how hard you try to close them softly. Slowly. Also some of the cabinets have very strong magnets and were not easily opened. One thing was missing was a hair dryer. Which is kind of strange, but if you needed one, your room steward should be able to get it. But those were minor complaints because otherwise we really enjoyed this stateroom. It was modern, spacious, and smartly designed. It was definitely one of the best balcony cabins we stayed in. So what do you think? Will you consider cruising in one of these infinity veranda cabins? Let us know with a comment or if you have a question, we'll be happy to answer. Thank you very much, happy cruising, and we'll see you soon in another video.